let r be a real number such that it satisfies this equation x squared plus 16x squared over x minus 4 quantity squared equals 180. Then the goal, of course, is to solve for all real value of x that satisfies this equation. Pause this video right now and see if you can answer this question. And of course, if you're done, post your answer in the comment section down below. Now I will show you the solution in 3, 2, 1. Alright, so here's the equation x squared plus 16x squared over x minus 4 raised to the power of 2 equals 180. Then we know x here is a real number. Then the goal is to find all real number x that satisfies this equation. Alright, so let's begin. First, this 16, we can rewrite this as 4 raised to the power of 2. And what is the reason? Because we can combine 4 squared and x squared as 4x raised to the power of 2. And finally, 4x raised to the power of 2 over x minus 4 raised to the power of 2, we can combine them. And we see that it is equivalent to 4x over x minus 4 raised to 2, the power of 2. Now, here comes the trick. What we're going to do is to rewrite this 4x. Now, what we're going to do is to rewrite this in the form of 4 multiplied by x minus 4 plus 16. Now, this is equivalent to 4x because if we distribute this 4 to x minus 4, we have here 4x minus 16, then add 16, 6, negative 16 plus 16, this is just 0. So the numerator is just 4x. Now, the good thing in this step is we can divide these two terms by x minus 4. So this becomes 4 plus 16 over x minus 4. Now, let's focus on this result. And what we're going to do is to expand this expression inside the parentheses. So if we do that, we have 4 squared, the square of the first term, plus 2 times the first term times the last term, plus the last term raised to the power of 2. All right. Now let's simplify. 4 squared, we know this is 16. And 2 times 4 is 8. 8 times 16, this will give us 128. And 16 over x minus 4 raised to the power of 2, we have 256 over x minus 4 raised to the power of 2. All right, now, here comes the trick. Instead of subtracting 16 on both sides, what we're going to do is to add 16 on both sides. Now, why is that? Why is this helpful? All right, 16 plus 16, this will give us 32 for sure. And 180 plus 16 is 196. Now, here comes a tricky part. Because if we multiply 32 and negative 4, we have negative 128. So I will show you how this works. Okay, now, let's combine these two terms. 32 plus 128 over x minus 4. Now, if we combine this, we have 32x minus 128 because 32 times negative 4 is 128 plus 128 all over x minus 4. As you can see, this term right over here becomes 0. So the numerator of x minus 4 becomes 32x. Now, again, the question is, why is this important in this situation? Because 32 is just 2 times x times 16. Now, we have your x squared. And, by the way, let's focus on this result. And 256, notice this is just 16 squared. And we can combine this. Last term, 16 over x minus 4. Now, it follows a perfect square trinomial pattern, wherein we have here square of the first term, which is x squared. And then 2 times the first term and the last term, which is x and 16 over x minus 4 and the square of the last term. So technically speaking, we can rewrite the left-hand side of our equation as a plus b raised to the power of 2 or x plus 16 over x minus 4 raised to the power of 2. All right, so now let's focus on this result. Now as you can see, 196 is also a perfect square. This is just 14 raised to the power of 2. So now, we can get the square root on both sides and take note, we have two possible values here. We have positive or negative square root of 14 squared. Now, the left-hand side, this is just x plus 16 over x minus 4. 
while on the right hand side this is just positive or negative 14. now at this point we have two cases the first one is x plus 16 over x minus 4 equals positive 14 and the second case equals negative 14. so we need to solve for the values of x in these two cases so let's do that first let's multiply all of this term by x minus 4. so in these two equations we have this result and then let's simplify let's distribute this x to x minus 4 and this 14 to x minus 4 and negative 14 to x minus 4. and then what we're going to do here is to combine like terms and equate this to zero so we found out we have on the first case x squared minus 8 and x plus 72 and the second case is x squared plus 10x minus 40 equals 0. Now on the first case, we can factor this out easily because 6 times 12 is 72 and negative 6 plus negative 12 is negative 18. And since it is equal to 0, then at least one of them must be equal to 0. It follows that x equals 6 or x equals 12. So there you have it. We found two real value of x that satisfies the original equation. Now how about on the second case? This is not factorable, so we will use the quadratic formula. We have negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now let's replace all variables. a here is the coefficient of x squared, b is the coefficient of x, and c is the constant term. So if we do that, we get negative 10 plus or minus square root of 10 squared minus 4 times negative 40 all over 2. Simplifying this, this is 10 squared 100. Negative 4 times negative 40 is 160. Add this together, we have 260. Factor out 260. We have 4 times 65 and square root of 4 is 2. And 10 and 2 are divisible by 2, so if we divide this, we have negative 5 plus or minus square root of 65. Therefore, we found another two real values of x, which is negative 5 plus square root of 65, and another is x equals negative 5 minus square root of 65. And there you have it. We found four real values of x that satisfies this equation. By the way, this is not hard to check. Maybe someone in the comment section will verify that these four answers is actually correct. So by the way, as always, we are done.